Did I implement a mechanism to test command line arguments? Yes, I did implement a mechanism to test command line arguments, and now I uh, store the inputs for the for the programs for the test programs in uh, in the same place where I store outputs. So I developed a very simple format that can hold uh, input arguments, also standard input, and uh, also the expected return code, and the expected standard output, and the expected standard error, and the test script. Uh, uh, test pi actually uses all of that to properly test everything. So it reads this information, uh, runs the program providing the command line arguments in the standard input, and then asserts that the program exited with this code, printed this on the standard output and this on the standard error. I haven't documented this format yet, but uh, the reason why I'm using this custom format and not something like JSON is because I do plan to rewrite even test.py in Porth. So I need a very simple format that I can uh, parse even in such a Spartan language as Porth, right? I want to have something super simple. And this format is actually super, super simple. Um, I haven't documented it yet, but I do plan to document it in the future. So it's basically a, sequ a sequence of fields, right? And each field, um, so there's only two types of fields. There is an integer field that stores an integer, and there is a blob field which stores the uh, like arbitrary byte data, right? So, and uh, yeah, so it's actually pretty straightforward format. Um, all right, and uh, recently I introduced an example called name, um, right? So it's a classical program which basically asks your name and then says hello that name right it's a very simple program and it's probably uh, one of the programs that people write after they wrote hello world right so hello world just prints something on the screen but name actually also reads something and prints something back so it's a little bit more complicated than hello world uh so and let's actually take a look at how it uh works uh so this is gonna be ports and i'm gonna do i'm gonna actually compile this entire thing so let's compile examples name.port uh, there we go. So, and if you run name, uh, what is your name? I'm going to print my name, Alexi, and it says, hello, Alexi. So, yeah. And uh, yet again, this is a native program, right? Because we generated assembly for this program. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. And to test this program, we do have a standard input in the test case, right? So, as you can see, in the test case, we have Alexi. So, uh, the test.py will provide this input and the expected output is going to be this. So yeah, we basically developed like a whole testing system for our language, uh, which is actually pretty cool. Right. And there is a bunch of commands that allow you to update the, uh, the standard input. Uh, for instance, you can do test by, and you can say update input example name dot port, right? So I'm dating the input. So provide the, uh, st uh, the STD for the test case, uh, press uh, control D when you're done. Okay. Let's actually provide something like John and I'm going to press control D and it updated the, uh, test case, right? So it updated the input, but it didn't update the output so if now i'll try to test uh this specific file it will fail right it will say expected hello alexi but we found hello john but at any point you can say uh, update the outputs of this program as well and it will reevaluate everything and as you can see expected one is going to be john as well so this tool also makes it super easy to add new test, test cases right if you want to provide maybe like additional command line arguments, you can also do that. You can do uh, update input and you can provide a full bar buzz, right? Then you provide uh, Alexi, there we go. And if you reverse this entire thing, there we go. We have command line arguments, we have standard input and stuff like that. So, and then I can, I can update the output of this entire thing. And uh, there we go. So, yep, that's pretty cool. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, and we implemented all of that uh, from scratch. We, we didn't use any testing framework or anything like that. I just went ahead and implemented this entire system without using additional third party dependencies, only Python and the standard library of Python. So, it's pretty convenient. Mm. So, yeah. Isn't that cool? I think it's pretty cool. 